The name of the movie is Ouija Origin of Evil. It comes out this Friday, October 21st. And I play Alice, who is a widow, a mother of two young girls. And we don't have any way to make money, so we've sort of created this business where I run a seance business out of the home where I perform fake seances. And really it's just to help people connect with loved ones that they've lost. And it's actually a sort of a positive, good service that she provides. And this is in the late 60s in Los Angeles, California. And uh, it's a little strange. And she employs her daughters to help her perform little tricks within the seances. And basically what happens is we, we realize that we need to sort of up our game and take it to the next level. So there's a Ouija board that we bring into our show, basically, our, our gig. and. Um, things start to happen. I used to not take Ouija boards seriously, and I mean, it was something that at a slumber party, you know, you'd whip it out and everybody would scream and giggle and go to sleep or, you know, eat some gummy bears or whatever you do. And when I was shooting this movie, I was living alone in a house by my, you know, in Los Angeles, and I would get home at, in the dark and be really freaked out because the stuff that we were dealing with, it is very psychological, and my character doesn't know that she's in a horror movie. She's going or going along living her life and something is starting to happen and it's quite beautiful, she thinks. And, you know, I'm, I'm of the mind that, you know, anything is possible. There are people that I know that have had actual ghosts and that we've, we've all had, not all of us maybe, but I know certain people who've had things happen. If you open your mind to that possibility, it's, it can be both wonderful and terrifying. There were times when we were shooting where it was psychologically terrifying. There were scenes where, you know, you have to imagine terrible things when you're, when you're an actress, you start, you have to use your imagination. And, and then, you know, we shot in this very creepy house in Highland Park in, in Los Angeles and a very old, weird house. And we were in an attic. Whenever I went home, I would like I would take an Ativan at the end of the night because I was like, I cannot sleep with this sort of, you know, when you do a movie or whatever, a play, it becomes sort of a mantra unconsciously of what you're dealing with. And I'm not, I'm not saying I was a crazy person, but you can't pretend to do that all day long and then go home and not, not be like nervous walking around your house.